My name is Chrissy Odin and I'm the Manager of Cultural Arts Programs for the Town of Flower Mound and today we're going to learn how to make a painting catapult. So the first thing I'm going to do is walk through the materials with you. Um, we had a kit that you could purchase that contains all the materials that you need for the project or you're welcome to go buy them on your own. Um, so like I said, I'm going to walk through each material that you need and then we'll do some examples of catapulting some paint onto paper. So the first thing that you'll get is some 12 inch, or I'm sorry, one half inch PVC pipe. You'll need one 14 inch piece, two nine inch pieces, seven six inch pieces, two three inch, two two and a half inch. You'll need five T's and six elbows and it's important to remember that these are not threaded so don't get the threaded ones you also have a male coupler and a 90 degree angle so these are all the pvc materials you'll need you'll also need some pom-poms some acrylic paint some heavy duty rubber bands and some duct tape Additionally, this is not in the kit, but if you want, you can get some PVC glue to glue your catapult together so it won't slip. But for this, we're gonna use duct tape. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is take your angler and your coupler and put them together like this. So this part will be where you hold the paint that's gonna fling onto the paper. Next, you're going to take your 14 inch piece and attach it like so. So now you have your arm. Um, next, you're going to take one of your T's and attach it whoop, to the bottom like this. And then you will take, let me see, one of your two and a half inch pieces. and another two and a half inch piece. So this will be your swing arm. This is the part that is gonna fling the paint onto the paper. Okay, so you'll put that to the side. Next, you're gonna take your two nine inch pieces. Let's we'll scoot these over a little bit. You're gonna put an elbow on here and you're going to put an elbow on this one and then take one of your six inch pieces and attach it like this. Ugh. So before you glue or tape anything, you're going to put the entire thing together and then you can go back and glue or tape your pieces just so you have everything where it needs to be. All right, next you're going to take a T and attach it to that end. The same on the other side. And then a six inch piece, a six inch piece. And when you get this all together, you can go back and maybe lightly hammer the pieces in so they don't move. And then you'll take an elbow like that, another elbow and another six inch piece and you will attach it like so kind of fiddle it a little bit all right so now your three inch pieces will go here and here we'll take another t here and here and now this is where your arm will go so you'll put it through here and slide it in just like that so it's important to remember I'm gonna squeeze it up. this part is the part that you'll need to move so don't glue or tape these areas right here Whenever you go back to glue or tape, be sure and not do that. Also, if the pipe is a little tight inside this portion, 
you can sand it down a little bit so it moves a little more freely. You just kind of got to play, play around with it to see what works. All right, and then finally, we're gonna take another six inch piece and another six inch piece, an elbow, an elbow, and then voila, you have created a catapult. So the thing that's going to give this um, the part where it'll spring back up are some heavy duty rubber bands. So what you'll do, I'll show you how to put one on right now. Um, this part takes a little bit of time, so I'll let you do this on your own, but you'll have to take this out, wrap the rubber band through like that. So you, the more that you put on here, the tighter it will be and um, the stronger your catapult will be, the farther your paint will go. So once you get, I think I put maybe 10 or 12 on the one that I did, you slide this back through here and you just attach it like that. Okay, so now you have it all put together. So remember, don't put any tape or glue on this part right here. But if you are using the duct tape, you'll wanna tape all the areas where they meet in a joint like that and just tape, 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 tape. Put as many pieces as you can. The more pieces you put, the stronger it'll be. Okay, so now we have one put together and you know how to create it. Let's go over and actually show you how the catapult works with the paint. So I have one that was already made magically. So we'll come over here. So you'll want a flat surface to throw your paint on. What we've done is we got some um, really inexpensive tablecloths from like the dollar store and put it as the background. And then we got some butcher paper, which is also in your kit that you can tape up and then fling your paint. So what I've done is I've soaked the pom-poms in some acrylic paint that I've watered down. You want to water it down so you can get more paint in there and so it's easier to soak through the pom-pom. So this part's messy, but that's okay because art's messy and that's what makes it fun. So you get out your squished up pom-pom and you'll squish it in <laughs> to this part of the catapult. And you'll need somebody to help you with this part. So somebody will step on the front and you'll step on the back and you'll pull it back and woo! There you have a painting catapult. So you can do as many colors, as few colors. You can turn the paper into wrapping paper. You're gonna get messy, so you might need older clothes, but the paint in your kit is washable, so no worries there. All right, guys, have fun with this, and please, please send me your videos and your pictures of your catapults. Bye.